when people in your life find out that you are a Christian, a Christian who goes to church every week, who uh, serves God, uh, a real Christian, when people find out that you are a Christian, do they treat you better? Do they treat you worse? Or are they completely neutral? I have a feeling if they're completely neutral and there is no impact, they probably don't believe that you really are a Christian. So back to that original question, when people find out that you are a Christian, uh, how does it change the way that they treat you? Matthew chapter 26 verses 57 through 68. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. But Peter followed him at a distance, right up to the courtyard of the high priest. He entered and sat down with the guards to see the outcome. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death. But they did not find any, though many false witnesses came forward. Finally, two came forward and declared, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Then the high priest stood up and said to Jesus, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent. The high priest said to him, I charge you under oath by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Yes, it is as you say, Jesus replied. But I say to all of you, in the future you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Look, now you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He is worthy of death, they answered. Then they spit in his face and struck him with their fists. Others slapped him and said, Prophesy to us, Christ, who hit you? This passage is, is really amazing. It's a reminder that Jesus Christ, uh, the one uh, who was from the beginning, uh, who was and is and is to come, the Alpha and the Omega, the Almighty Creator, King of Kings, Lord, Lord of Lords, lowered himself and became a mere human being. Not only that, he, he got rid of all his power and privilege and allowed himself to be um, arrested and mocked by men, mere men, spit on, slapped, uh, st struck in with fists, and he just allowed himself um, to be completely um, dominated and hurt by these mere men. He lowered himself. And uh, it's, a, it's a reminder to us that if we are to be Christ followers, if we are to follow in his footsteps, um, we need to lower ourselves as well. And we might face persecution. People might mistreat us and harm us because of Christ, because of our faith, of what we believe in, what we stand for, and what we are living for. Um, I uh, have been a field study supervisor for many seminary students and what that means is when someone goes to seminary they need someone at their church to meet with them every week, go through their, um, you know, like learning, what are they learning at their uh, field site education, which is their church, and um, sign all the papers. And a few years ago I was meeting with a group of uh, seminary students serving as youth pastors and um, we were at a coffee shop and one of them got really uh, emotional and was sharing with me how 
he was so disrespected by the parents of the youth group, so uh, demeaned and so mistreated. And as he was sharing these sad stories, um, I started playing the air violin. Uh, if, you, if you don't know, I, I was kind of making fun of him, like, oh, what a sad story, I need to play the sad music. And then I started playing the, uh, the mini, the mini air violin, and um, I, I hope God doesn't punish me for doing that, but um, my message to him was, we're servants of Christ, and sometimes people will disrespect us because we are servants of Christ. Sometimes people will demean us and mistreat us and think and act like they can get away with it so easily and, and treat us as, as very small. And uh, I guess my, my point was, you know, we need to be uh, a little tough. We need to be a little thick-skinned because when you serve Christ, um, sometimes people are going to be very mean. Uh, I mean, that was my point, but people thought I was being too mean to him. But it's true, when you want to serve Christ, sometimes people will treat you really well. They'll support you, they'll assist you, they, they will make it easier for you. They want to help you. Sometimes you'll get special treatment, but sometimes people will do the exact opposite. And what can we expect when Christ himself was arrested and spit on and mocked and slapped and humiliated for fulfilling his mission? Uh, I was at the JFK airport uh, maybe a month or two months ago, actually three months ago, and um, a young man from Tel Aviv, Israel, um, overheard me talking about church, and he overheard me talking about synagogue because our church bought a Jewish synagogue, and he was confused, and he asked me, um, are you a rabbi? And I explained to him that I'm a Christian, and that I'm a minister. Um, he was confused. He thought it was a priest who, who is celibate, who can't get married. But I was explaining to him that I'm a minister. And this young man from Tel Aviv, young Jewish man, as we talked about religion, got very frustrated and very angry. And his point was to be a devout Jew requires so much discipline, so much devotion, so much work. And he was angry. To be a Christian, in his words, it was too easy. Too easy. And in his words, he said, a Christian can sin and live however they want and do whatever they want to do, and right before they die, they can pray to God, receive forgiveness, and go to heaven. Now, I don't completely agree with what he said, but in his discussion, he was so mad and so angry. And um, I felt like, um, you know those soccer players when they score a goal in the opposing team stadium and everyone's so mad that they scored that goal and they're running back to their position and they go, shh. And they look at the camera and they go, shh, like he was so mad at me that it was hard to reason with him. And I just felt like being like, shh, like calm down. And uh, I really thought, wow, I'm, I'm lucky I'm in an airport because there's so much security here. Uh, even if he gets violent, I'm, I'm protected, I'm covered. But it's true, there are people in the world who do not understand Christ, and they don't understand the gospel, they don't understand Christians, and when they find out you are a Christian, a Christ follower, it's going to make them frustrated. It's going to make them upset and agitated. 
And uh, do not be surprised. Look at what Christ persevered and do not be surprised. Jesus Christ himself was mocked and humiliated and mistreated. Uh, what more can we expect if we want to follow in his footsteps? Let's pray together. God, we want to be the followers of Jesus Christ. We want to carry on and continue the ministry of Jesus Christ and help us when the world reacts negatively, when people hate us, when people mock us, when people spit at us. Allow us to uh, persevere. And Lord, give us the uh, privilege and the opportunity to even experience persecution in whatever big or small ways because of the name of Christ. We ask this in your name. Amen.